Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikon, this is the legendary Iron Man um, Lone Wolf run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single player person. Ah, soldier permission. It's always a single player, but this time it's also a single uh, soldier. We gotta go on to Operation Glass Fog. Sabotage the transmitter means it's going to be a fast paced basically run and get to the um, get to the transmitter kind of mission but we need to counter this dark event at any cost and apparently the only thing that we're going to see are the loss I have a hard time believing that but whatever I bet you the um, Berserker Queen is going to be on this mission, elsewise it wouldn't be very difficult. There we go. So, moving, seeing some losts, but that's not even remotely a, a reason for concern. I mean, the losts are not even moving so I do not really see an issue with them I will lose position just gotta be very quiet. Okay, it's a lot of loss here, I get it. But seriously, it's not that bad. Okay, last turn, we're hacking this and should have won the mission. Are we really just talking about loss here? One of many. My ammunition is almost gone. Death to the invaders. I need ammo to hunt. I must reload. Like if we're only talking about loss here. then she can neutralize the entire the only safe path to go for 
the entire squad of them. Of course. It seems to be only loss. Clearly, a Reaper is not the best lost killer, and given that they hit for five nowadays, even worse. I think we don't need to neutralize everyone, right? Hmm. Or do we? It's a good question. It's actually a really good question, I don't know. Shit, I thought since we could hide right next to him that um, he would notice. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, we, she doesn't have the biggest magazine, but as long as we're talking only about loss, she should be fine, I guess. Yeah, maybe not. Probably not, unless I can find a way to weasel myself into a position where they can't reach me. Okay, do we have a position where they can't reach us? Good question. I mean, we have a position where only two of them could reach us, but that is not a sustainable way of dealing with them. Plus, some of them have nine hit points, which we can't just nuke down. Hmm. Let's think that through. Yeah, even more out here. Hmm. There's no further rooftop up here. Could 
move all the way over here. And then reload. Kill a few. Move on. I think that's probably the best we could do at this point. The problem is she works a lot with explosives and that's attracting even more of them. Luckily, the loss are pretty stupid. So their movement is highly predictable. Our biggest problem is certainly the the sheer uh, hit points that some of them have. We don't have between the eyes and half of them have so many hit points that the vector rifle does not kill them, at least not reliably. I don't think that I can do it. Oh wow. I just don't see a way how how we can reliably kill enough of them and get out of here. That is by the way the reason why I couldn't jump down. Time to get out of here. For one person, it was very difficult. And there was simply not a single letter where we could have just camped on top of the ladder. Well, at least, yeah, that's what we wanted. We counted the dark events, so that's fine. Everything else is... Pff, doesn't matter. Could have just evacuated from the get-go. I will scan for a little bit faster healing because we will need her next month to defend the Avenger. How many days does she does she have? Um, we're looking at what seven days. 
Uh, that's a lot. Okay, whatever. Let's continue scanning and wait until Scythe is back. We need her for the adventure defense. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. I would say we're not doing another covert action for now. We're just waiting. Because we're about a few hours prior to the supply drop. Yeah, not even. It's coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Your progress against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room. So she tries to assault the Avenger again. The Chosen haven't given up on finding us, Commander. Another major breakthrough. <sighs> wow. Okay, well, fortunately we don't have Avatar pro uh, Project Reduction. This here is nice, that's a faction soldier on Colonel rank. We can't prevent her from from attacking us again. That's a problem as well. Let's quickly see how long is our sniper wounded. Four days. Let's do the five days mission here. And yeah, ambush ch chance is high, okay. Well, see, the thing is, even with a high ambush chance, I am pretty confident that we could do it. Because we would have three soldiers, like, that's incredibly easy. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. What can I do for you, Commander? Good, we need more blue screen rounds. And we're low on supplies, so we need to sell something and earn some cash. Ah, that's lamentable. I wanted to fight off the Avatar project even further. See, alien alloys are finally of interest. Unfortunately, I think they've never considered that you want to mass sell them. So 
So, that's a good starting point, 2,000 uh, supplies. Superior expanded magazine, definitely something that I would like to buy. Okay. I like the superior scope as well. But we don't need it right away. With the money though, what we could do... Hello, ...is upgrade the last two weapons. This one here is good. Might be able to use that. Sustenance Sphere is something that I could see us using as well. Uh, we don't have a lot of good other equipment at the moment because we're lacking the Illyrium cores. And I don't mind the overdrive serum as well. We got plenty corpses. Again, unfortunately, we have zero Elarium cores, so gotta fix that. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. Let's make sure that everyone's healed up as fast as possible because I fear that we're being attacked very soon. Three more days. Nice. We finally got Gremlin Mark III. Elite Trooper and Andromedon. You know what? We should be fine. I mean... This time we even have three soldiers on this mission, just because the covert ops had three slots. And we simply need to get out of there, so how hard can that be? And there we go. A very unusual site for the Lone Wolf um, run. We're Having three people at our disposal, it's almost too much. No need to ask twice. Good, let's see about the arriving forces. Alright, Overwatch, Overwatch, and 
Overwatch. The game is so incredibly much easier if you have multiple soldiers to control. Look at that, we can school mine. I think that's an excellent idea. There we go, one down. And this should take care of uh, the second soldier. Thanks for the school jacking opportunity. We want the facility lead, come on. Yep, very nice. That's exactly what we were looking for. And you know the typical shotgun in your face. Like I said, it's so much uh, more easy if you have multiple soldiers that you can depend on. Yeah, I think we're going to reload next turn. And a Lost Swarm will appear. There are definitely two more enemies. So my take is, or my guess is, um, the Andromedon will be right next here at the street. So, like I said, I think the Andromedon will be like around here. As soon as I get a sound uh, indicator, we will know where it is. Thank you. 
pretty sure it's right next here. No problem, boss. Getting some line of sight. Okay, apparently we haven't found it yet. Lost Swarm will appear very soon, so we gotta deal with them. By seeing through this uh, first person vision. Ah, there we go. There is the Andromedon. Stealing a ton of damage. Very happy with uh, Cypher. So I think the Andromedon will come to us. Oh, it's over here. Just broke through the wall here. Okay, I'll go. I'm on it. All right, Overwatch, reload Overwatch, and Overwatch. We will definitely trigger it one way or the other. Uh, that would have been important, that Shredder hits. So, luckily we do have Salvo. Unfortunately, did not hit. I want to use another grenade because that will trigger the loss. Luckily now the shredding is done. Alright, it dropped some loot. It's a good sign. Out of curiosity, we could hack it, right? Damn it. Would have been an excellent scout for us, by the way, 20 hit points. I thought, I really thought it was out of range, as far as I would have just shut it down. Surprisingly far that it could, uh, that it could run.
So getting rid of all of the loss. Done. And finally hitting this guy here. We got blue screen rounds, could have just hit him. Anyways, we can still get the loot, so that's not a problem. And since we do have Vulture as a resistance order, we'll get twice the amount of loot. An Illyrium Core, that's great. I think one investment that we could do with the Illyrium cores is to essentially get um, war armor. Gives a little bit more AC, heavy weapons. I mean, it's not bad. So the war suits, of course, it's what I'm referring to. All right, one more enemy and then we should be done. Could be Andromedon, could be another trooper. As far as I'm concerned, this is probably the easiest mission that I've played in the entire run. I mean, for every turn it feels like we're having sufficient manpower. Can easily, easily fight. Don't need to come up with any, like, abuse or garbage. Uh, mm, garbage choices between two options that are not really good. There's another Andromedon right here. Moving to position. Yeah, I stand right next to the car. Oh, that's an excellent idea. You know. What I like about the idea the most is that you're just taking two explosions at, at a time.
All right. Even if we haven't hit everyone's in full cover, he's disoriented and can't use any of his skills, plus can't move far enough. Seventy-eight percent shot missed. That is indeed not good. I'm trusting you here. Enemy is still up. I don't really know what the best position here might be. Fortunately, we missed two very high level shots. And we're now faced with really difficult decisions. Is he's going to take a shot? No, he's overwatching because he's still disoriented. Interesting. Overwatch is triggered by the Lost. It's even more interesting. Alright, let's kill some loss. One down. Two down. Moving over. Let's kill this guy. Very nice. Reload, shot, nice little 16 points of damage. All right. So I think that's it, short of these losses, no one else is here anymore. Okay, easy enough. Like I said, probably the easiest mission in the entire run so far. Will not be the norm. I mean, ambush missions are always easy, but it's very seldom that you can take that many soldiers onto the mission. This was a walk in the park. Discover exactly what type of exposure led to the All right, easy enough. We got a facility lead and an Elarium core out of it, which is great. Plus we can start to investigate the intel. Together we have succeeded in our task. 
So, in reserves uh, plus two isn't a, isn't necessarily a good uh, and good option. Light deployment, lightest variance plus one hit point. That's not bad. I'm not sure if we're wearing light armor. I think we wanted to go with the health next. And probably here mobility. Easy, five days. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Good. In terms of in terms of projects here. I think we're we should go with a war suit. Currently, hmm. Well, it is what it is. We don't need to build the war suit faster. Good. Think that the attack will happen relatively soon, so we gotta be ready. Roby does his uh, does have his stuff and. Skies um, has hers. Okay. One of the chosen is moving to attack the ship. And that's exactly what I thought. That's, that is the Avenger assault. Good moment in time to call it an evening. It's getting late here and we had a long, long session, uh, almost an hour. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, we are unfortunately forced in Operation Icehound to yet again defend our Avenger. That's going to be a theme over the next couple of iterations. Um, yeah. See you in the next mission, and as always, if you liked uh, where this is going, leave a thumbs up and a little comment down below. Bye-bye.